Hello all, welcome to the Windows API exploitation recipes for red blue teams. So in the last video, we had seen the basics of how to use WTS enumerate processes EX. So if you recall, we basically called the API and then we went ahead and dumped interesting info from the WTS process info EX structure for each process running on the system. Now, what we also found is that the user SID was available to us. And this is interesting. So why don't we go ahead, print the SID, the username and the domain name, right? For uh, every processes owner. So how do we do that? Now we would need to convert the SID to a string and then use the SID also to go ahead and get the account name and the domain. Now converting from the SID to string is actually very simple. There is an API called convert SID to string SID, right? Give it the input as the SID and it gives you back a string representation of the SID. So this is exactly what we have done in the code over here. Now this code is basically an incremental improvement from the one in the last video, including these new elements of printing the SID and then printing the username and domain name. So here we have it. We very simply call convert SID to string. Uh, and we print the SID if there are no errors. Fantastic. What we also want to do is look up the username and the domain name. Now this is possible using lookup account SID API which is available to us. So all we are going to do is go down here and call that API by passing it the SID and then we would be able to get back the account name and the domain name, both of which we end up printing here, right? You can look up the individual uh, kind of, you know, arguments and types and all of that for each API. Uh, I don't really see a point at doing this at this stage. Uh, you should be able to figure out which is a pointer, which is a pointer to a pointer and all of that, right? Great. Should we do that and then we print this for every process and eventually we exit. Great. Seems like a great program. Let's go ahead and run it. So let's actually build this. Let's go to the build directory and let's just run it. Let's go up. Oops, what do we have here? Now if you notice, we seem to be getting some errors. So it says error, convert SID to string SID failed with error 87, parameter is incorrect. Look up account SID 87, parameter is incorrect. This seems to be happening for a lot of processes on the top. And then for some of these processes uh, over here, for example, sihost.exe, etc., we seem to be able to print the SID, the domain, as well as the username. Fantastic. So it seems like we are having issues for some processes, while for others, we seem to be able to make it work just fine. Hmm. Let's see what. process explorer does right so let's run process explorer and if you look at the username column we once again find that for some processes it is able to find the username domain name while for a lot of others it actually also gets an error which it displays as access denied hmm. so looks like we don't have sufficient privilege at this point Okay, how do we solve that? 
So as they say, support people say reboot the computer and IT admins say run as administrator. <laughs> so what happens if we run this as admin? Right? Now before we do that, why don't we just comment out the errors and just use a hyphen wherever we cannot find the details, right? Just makes it much more readable. So I'm going to modify this code over here just to comment out this line and uncomment this line, which just prints a hyphen if there is an error. So just to check this, If I were to run the same program once again. So now we don't get errors, we just get plain hyphens, right? We, we really don't care about the error message. What we care about is we eventually couldn't find those details, okay? So now let's actually go ahead and run this as admin. Let's solve all our problems, right? Let's run as admin. Wow, so it does seem like, you know, running as admin seems to have solved the problem, right? Hmm. But if you look closely, there seem to be some processes still like csrss.exe where we couldn't find the details out. Uh, over here we have wmiprivse.exe again, doesn't seem like we were able to find the details and one or two processes scattered here and there. So looks like by running our same program as admin, we were able to find the SID account name, domain name for most processes, but there are some which still seem to elude us. What about Process Explorer? Come on, if we couldn't do it as admin, Process Explorer should not be able to do it as admin as well, right? I mean, how much more could Mark Rasinovich, the author, know than us, <laughs> right? He's the chief architect of Microsoft Azure, so I'm assuming he knows a lot more than we do <laughs> about Windows internals. But hey, let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's run Process Explorer as admin. Hmm. I'm happy for Process Explorer, but I'm ra rather disappointed with our code, right? So if you notice when we run as admin, Process Explorer happily goes ahead and gives us the username, domain name, combination details for every process, right? I don't think they really have an option to print the SID, do they? No, they don't seem to have an option to print the SID, but the fact is that I'm assuming that the SID can also be printed, right? By Process Explorer if they really wanted to. So for whatever reason, Process Explorer seems to be able to do it with admin, but we aren't, right? So let's go back to our slides. So clearly just being admin didn't solve it, right? And, and this is really where what I'm trying to do is slowly build up that understanding of what all uh, you know, your code would require to do really do interesting things on a Windows machine, right? You're picking up Windows 10, that's the latest and greatest. Uh, so this is as current as it can get. Now, that mystery will actually be solved in the next video, right? We need to be a bit more patient. So that's all I have in mind for this one. If you're enjoying your time at Pentester Academy, please recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you and have a great day ahead.